Have you ever wondered how investigators uncover the truth behind online identities and networks? In the world of open source intelligence, or OSINT, investigators utilize a range of techniques to conduct their investigations. Today, we'll take you behind the scenes and explore some of the key methods employed by OSINT investigators. But first, let's understand what OSINT is. Open source intelligence involves gathering and analyzing information from publicly available spaces to uncover hidden insights, identify anonymous individuals, and counter harmful online narratives. Logically's OSINT investigators often use some of the techniques that we're going to cover today in their own investigations, like when they uncovered the man behind the dangerous Ghost Ezra Telegram account. The first tip is to gather initial information about the target. This includes their online presence, pseudonyms, and any available background details. Logically began by trying to understand Ghost Ezra. We needed to understand their ideology and then determine whether or not this was someone who needed to be investigated. Ghost Ezra was pretty much the most influential QAnon influencer there was, and not only that, he was by far the most extreme. He was controversial among other influencers, but still had gained one of the largest audiences. The account itself represented a bit of a danger, not just because it grew quite rapidly, that's not necessarily unusual, but because it began to steer QAnon believers towards more extreme rhetoric and more extreme conspiracy theories, essentially saying louder and more dangerous parts of the movement more loudly than had been seen before. So he had a, like a disproportional uh, level of influence and was sort of using anonymity to shield himself from any kind of accountability. That's when we sort of approached it. We were like, okay, it'd be useful to find out who this person is and then we can determine if it's in public interest to share. Next, it's crucial to analyze the target's online posts and images. They can provide valuable clues about their location, activities, and associations. Logically closely examined Ghost Ezra's Telegram channel and discovered the distinct markers, such as a plant and a media center, which play a vital role later on in the investigation. So basically the first thing that you want to do in that kind of situation, you scan everything that they have published and picking up the little clues about, you know, what they're saying to give you an idea of who this person is, where they're from, and then build upon that. So if you sort of hit a dead end, then you will sort of, you know, come back to it whenever they reveal any further information. So everyone sleeps at some point, which is when they usually would stop posting. So by mapping out the times of all of the posts, we could then get a general idea of time zone. And then we sort of delved in a little bit further. We looked through all the pictures that have been posted to the Ghost Ezra Telegram account, filtered out those which had clearly been found elsewhere. Um, one of the key ones there was a shell garage, um, Ghost Ezra complaining about gas prices. Being able to pinpoint um, that A, this was a shell garage, B, it had prices at a certain day, we were able to narrow it down to three different states. And at one point he put uh, an image up of what was on the TV and we managed to then narrow down which potential TV stations this could be in which areas and try and work with that. So that was how we were able to then narrow him down to Florida. From there we were able to spot patterns in things that he was posting. He did overshare a little bit. He had posted about like going to the JFK Medical Center and there was one nearby with two campuses. So we could start generally planning out on a map where he could be. And generally we got a pattern of somewhere in Boca Raton was uh, where this account was originating from. Cross-referencing information is key to verifying the target's identity. Logically carefully cross-referenced Ghost Ezra's images, videos, and social media profiles to confirm the match between his home and the content shared on his Telegram channel. Online platforms and services can be powerful tools in OSINT investigations. Logically utilized Google and Yelp review accounts associated with Ghost Ezra's online persona, Robert S, to narrow down his location and reveal his true identity. But the real breakthrough came when um, we noticed that one of the pictures posted to the accounts was um, a screen cap from the Ghost Ezra account watching a live stream on YouTube. And on the live stream chat, uh, there was a little bit of text saying, comment as Robert Smart. Um, and because it was on YouTube, that was a Robert Smart Google account. You know, going out on a limb, like, you know, 
let's have a look at that petrol station on Google and see the reviews. When we looked at the reviews of the gas station, there was the identical image and a Robert S. Uh, so we're like, okay, well, that's kind of suspicious. It's, you know, it's not something that you can use as evidence necessarily yet. But then when we looked at the, that use, the Google user's history, first thing that pops up is a recent review of a synagogue, which he gave one star and wrote, not nice. And I mean, it's certainly in line with the type of profile that, you know, Ghost Ezra uh, had on Telegram. So we had, we had a Google account then. So we knew there was a Robert Smart very likely to be a Ghost Ezra account. But we didn't know who Robert Smart was, whether it was an alias um, or who was behind that account. It was just another username at that point. There are very limited ways that you can go, go from a Google ID to an email address or a Facebook account. Using some techniques that we have and some of the tools that we've uh, developed here at Logically, we were able to leverage the uh, Google ID behind the Robert Smart Google account to then pivot that to the email address used by Robert Smart. And from there, once we had his personal email address, uh, all the information came flooding out. And it led us to Facebook profiles. And when we looked at the Facebook profiles of that he, that he has and his family, we able we were able to you know see the inside of the house because they, they posted this stuff openly on Facebook, and lo and behold, it was a match for the Ghost Azure videos of and, and pictures of the TV screen and the fake plant, the notorious fake plant in the corner. We found out that he was Robert Randall Smart. Um, we knew exactly where he lived. We we had all the information. Investigating associations and patterns in the target's online presence provides deeper insights. Logically discovered Ghost Ezra's connections with other QAnon influencers and observed his gradual separation from them, leading to factionalism within the movement. By following these tips, Logically successfully unraveled the identity of Ghost Ezra. When we broke our report, it was immediately shared um, on his uh, Telegram channel and the ghost chat. A lot of people started sharing it. A lot of people started trolling him with Hi Robert and you know all kinds of other stuff. And his reaction to that was really interesting in that, first of all, he started laughing um, and trying to make a bit of a joke about it, denying that he was Robert Randall Smart and um, essentially saying that, oh, they've got it wrong, but um, trying to laugh it off. As the day wore on, he started banning people who were sharing links to the Logically article. The real kicker that we definitely found the right guy though was that the review for the synagogue with one star got changed to a three star review. You know, the goal of this is always to bring accountability back at the center of it, you know. And for a lot of these influencers, when they're anonymous and they think, you know, nobody's ever going to find out who they are, it allows them to be more extreme. Uh, once their identity is out there, they tend to be more cautious. But the other thing that this does is kind of make sure that people are aware that you know, you can't avoid this forever. Eventually, someone's going to find out who you are and, and what you're doing. And it's not possible to, to cause so much harm online and entirely evade any kind of consequence or accountability. In conclusion, OSINT plays a vital role in combating online misinformation and promoting accountability. By gathering initial information, analyzing online posts and images, cross-referencing information, Utilizing other platforms and services and investigating associations and patterns, we uncover the truth behind anonymous figures like Ghost Ezra.